morning. Yes, hey there guys, good morning. I'm at Batteries Plus Bulbs right across the street from the station. Ryan here to go through some of these great ideas for you as we head into these summer months. Power going out, power being shut off, a lot of things that we don't think about. I am terrible at keeping things charged and that's one of the things we're gonna talk about here. So Me let's too. start this way, we'll move our way over. What do we got here? So right here we have a battery backup system that you can use for a home office computer or your Wi-Fi router, keep your internet up and going if the power is out. It'll give you quite a bit of runtime depending on what size computer monitor all of that that you have. And one of the things that Ryan and I were talking about in the commercial there was that having all of these things is great. It's pointless if they're not charged and it's pointless if you don't know where they are. So keeping mm -hmm. them all in a bin together somewhere where you can find it all quickly is super important. Right. Yeah, and having extra double A's, triple A's on hand, they're always handy, but especially if the power goes out, you can use it to save the kids' toys, to power your flashlights, whatever else you might need. Yeah, having all of the sizes there. Okay, right. moving along here. So on here, this is a battery-powered light that we have mm -hmm. that turns on like this. It's really handy. My wife and I use one of these under our stairs where there's a cubby space, but you could also use it when the power goes out as a flashlight. It can stick onto the wall and swivel wherever you need it pretty neat little yeah, device. Yeah, it's a there. really bright light, which is mm -hmm. nice to have. We also have a work light here, so if you're in the garage, wanted to get some more work done when the power is out, we have things like that. Mm -hmm. Just your normal flashlights, all different sizes. Those can come in really handy, of course. And one of the things that most of us have a trouble living without are phones, of course, and there's these chargers. Mm -hmm. And one thing to keep in mind, too, is I know I have a couple of different options for this, but they're old and they're a little bit dated. <laughs> and you so, need to keep them charged up. Otherwise, if you let it sit dead for too long, they will die completely and may not come back. So you want to charge it every few months, probably. Something like this, this is a USB power pack. You can plug in a couple of phones on here. You'll get multiple charges off of this one device. It really does come in handy. There are other versions, same type of thing, with a solar panel built in. So you can just leave it out in the sun, let it charge up. My wife and I take this camping all the time. It works great. Yeah, this stuff too, great for camping, great for anything you do outdoors. So it's not really a one-time use emergency right. thing. You really can get it um, for different, uh, different reasons as well. So it helps in an emergency, but you can use it for other things too. And I like these for the kiddos. <laughs> Yep, great little lights for the kids. Our kids love any little lights they can get. We also have the lantern lights here. Closes up real small, so really convenient for camping or just keeping in a drawer somewhere. Mm -hmm. Lots of other flashlights on there. One of the biggest things if the power goes out is making sure you can maintain communication with emergency services, loved ones. So keeping your phone charged really is probably the most important mm -hmm. thing. One of the other things that does come up is for medical devices, making sure that if you have a CPAP machine, if you have a wheelchair or mobility scooter, making sure you have that charged, making sure you have extra batteries on hand, making sure those are ready to go too is really important for yes. people. Great tips. Okay, coming up next hour, we're going to head outside, having the car ready to go, being ready for an evacuation, also very important. Some tips for you and other, some, uh, some other great tools that you can have on hand that will help you get through a situation like that. That's coming up in our next hour. Back over to you. All right. Thanks, Lori.